Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on uh, Friday, February 10th, 2017 at 18.20 in the afternoon Eastern Time, or evening Eastern Time now. In its own way, it's been a moderately full day. Um, I've spent the uh, better part of three hours this morning trying to put together this thing I did about the British Parliament yesterday uh, in iMovie. This is David Pogue's iMovie, The Missing Manual. His stuff, well, it's David Pogue and Aaron Miller in this, in this instance. Uh, his stuff's very good about explaining uh, the various vagaries and the ins and outs of the uh, OSX operating systems. Um, I still have a heart. I still have a bit of a. Di I still have trouble with the terminology because the words they use don't mean the words that I think about when I hear them. In any case, uh, my trusty quick time player quit on me uh, yesterday in El Capitan 11.6. Um, so I couldn't use the quick time edit feature anymore. And I tried it, that was yesterday, and I tried it again this morning, and it, it just it didn't work. Okay, so I plowed into this. Uh, and was able to, after three hours, get some of these things put together. Uh, you understand, all I want to do is put stuff together. You know? uh, I, can, I can trim stuff. I know how to do that. I just want to put stuff together. I don't want to put in, you know, smiley faces and fades and captions and... I just, I just want to put the thing together. I was able to do that finally. So uh, there was a little bit of learning that happened then. Uh, how's my hair? How's my hair? Uh, okay. A little bit of learning. Got it done. Wasn't too fucking happy about it, but I got it done. So then I looked through some of this YouTube stuff. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, I, I, there are a couple of three people that have subscribed to me recently. I've not been able to reply to them and thank them directly. Uh, in fact, <laughs> one guy uh, yesterday, excuse <coughs> me, watched uh, my Bastille Day video from, I think it was, two, it was 2016, from last year, uh, or it might have been the guy that watched one of my videos from 2015, December 10th, maybe. I think it was the guy that watched the one from December 10th, 2015, about doing math in your head and taking a 10% discount without having to use a calculator. Um, he says, I want to marry you. <laughs> well, that's very kind of him to say that. He spelled Mary, M-A-R-Y, like the name of the Virgin Mary, rather than M-A-R-R-Y. Uh, along those lines, My aunt named my cousin, who's now unfortunately dead. She died of renal cancer here a few years back in her 50s. Uh, we were born just two months apart. That gives you pause, doesn't it? Uh, she wrote on this girl's birth certificate as her first name, M-E-R. 
R R I. Murai. Well, she thought she was spelling Mary, as in like happy. Gay Mary. M E R R I. Elizabeth Kersey. <clears throat> well, Elizabeth's a perfectly wonderful name. So she was always known as Beth, but whenever she had to produce this what looked to be like a quasi-semi-illiterate document, her birth certificate, she was always fairly embarrassed. I hope she was embarrassed. I won't remark on, well, no, I just, I just won't go there. That would sound hateful and bigoted and ugly about my my good aunt Polly and Aunt Polly was a good aunt. She was a good aunt. Yeah, she was a good wife to Uncle Willard, my dad's brother. Yeah, yes, she was. She made out very well on the insurance too when he died. She also made out very well on the insurance when her second husband died. <laughs> God bless her. All right, go Aunt Polly. Oh, we stray far afield here from time to time. Now, this is when this is when Thomas went over to the Vatican to meet Francis, Pope Francis. They they hit it off. They're giving each other a thumbs up. Actually, that's not the case at all. They have a cardboard cutout of Pope Francis in their in their faculty lunchroom there, where he teaches at the school where he teaches. And so that obligatory photograph was taken. I guess you won't call it a selfie, you'd call it a popey. But it, this is me in July in 1971 on top of the Eiffel Tower. I was clearly in a contemplative mood at that moment. I'm going to be, I'm going to let the demon of pride take over me for a moment and say, I, I think I was a hot little number <laughs> in that one. <laughs> and in fact, a lot of this uh, YouTube stuff is, you know, it's, it's that demon of pride fucking what you ain't it. Um, the Desert Fathers, you know, who wrote in the, you know, 300s, 400s, 500s. You know, the monks that went out and stayed alone in the desert would write, and they all of them said that the last demon, the last sin to be, you know, gotten rid of when they enter these deep states of prayer was pride. And that's the, that's true. That is the case. That's the case. I, I, I might sound like I'm making light of it and having a good time with it, but that, you know, this is deadly serious stuff, guys. Deadly serious stuff. I love that picture. I love this picture, too, for that matter. Uh, he, didn't have, he didn't have to travel, you know, a third of the way across the world to get it taken either, did he? Um, well, I, I, I mentioned the Wall Street Journal situation earlier, or maybe I won't even include that in this video. Probably won't. But uh, I would love to get a digital-only subscription of the Wall Street Journal, and I've pissed and moaned about that a number of times, as you've heard me over the years, well, months, well, years now. Uh, and today I got this thing from, from the Wall Street Journal saying, you get a year for $200. Okay, and that's, okay, fine. But that includes the, the print edition. I don't want the print edition. I don't want to have to go down to the end of the driveway every day and pick up the print edition, bring it back in here, and then just throw it away. That's wasteful. That's trashy. That's all. That's, that's, that's a sin against, you know, 
the creation we're supposed to be taking care of, I think. All that ink and stuff, and hauling around. No, just no. So I, there's an outfit that, that said they would give me the digital only for $140 for two years. For two years. That's $140 for the two years. That's $70 a year. Now, to me, that's a very reasonable price. I'm very willing to pay that. So I did. Now, I'm going to wait a couple of three, four days to see if I've been ripped off. If this doesn't want some, some sort of fishing, fishing expedition. Interestingly, I was directed to their website from the website that the Wall Street Journal directed me to in their ad that they sent me. I am but a simple country anesthesiologist casting my net into the waters. And Jesus isn't on the shore to tell me to throw it off on one side or the other this, this time. Well, in sadder news, my grandson is, uh, uh, I guess, I guess a day or so ago, he, his dad said that he had a sore throat, wasn't feeling good, but, you know, soldiered on, went to school, and then, uh, I guess today he was sent home, uh, because he was obviously sick and he had a fever of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, so, hope he gets feeling better. I mean, it sounds like one of these low grade cold, hell, oh, hell, it could be a GI thing. I mean, the number of people I've heard that have had the GIs and the sore throats. Well, I'll tell you, when I, if I get sick I'm, in any given year, I get sick in February, and I hope I don't get sick uh, <laughs> in February this year. Or, you know, at all, for that matter. But uh, it's the time of year when this stuff happens. For me, anyway. Well, it sounds like for Carter, too. Uh, so, God bless you, Carter. Don't, you know, soldier on. He can make one of those gaming videos that I can't hear him talk on. Gaming videos, you know, bore me to death. Death. I mean, you know, I would almost as soon drive an ice pick into my head as watch a gaming video. But since it's my grandson, I'll, I'll, I'll sit through one. But I won't sit through one if I can't hear him comment on it. What's the point? <laughs> I just not interested in that stuff. Okay, let's see. I think I think I've covered everything here. You know, Thomas said he he might come up tomorrow. I I know uh, Carter's got his first. Uh, well, I'm not going to discuss it. He's got his first confession tomorrow at the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, Thomas said that they might come up, but I have a feeling if he's sick, uh, I won't be laying eyes on either. I mean, that's probably just as well. Right? You know, I don't, I'd love to see him. I mean, it's not like we're right up in each other's faces, but we'll see. You no, know, it might be one of these short-lived things, and <laughs> you'll be fine tomorrow. Hope so. Well, for his sake, not just mine. Thomas's confirmation class uh, gets confirmed on Sunday. Uh, so that's always sort of like a break point in the year for him because once he gets these guys confirmed, these eighth graders confirmed, uh, yeah, then it's sort of like a smooth sail to the end of the year for him as far as his teaching is concerned. Yeah. Yeah.
here I am. Here I am still a Protestant for my sins. <laughs> Alrighty, bye bye, YouTubers.